NASA's Ranger 5 was an unmanned spacecraft that was part of the Ranger program, a series of missions aimed at gathering data and images of the moon to aid in the development of future manned missions. Ranger 5 was launched on October 18, 1962, from Cape Canaveral, Florida, aboard an Atlas Agena B rocket. The spacecraft was equipped with a suite of scientific instruments, including a television camera, a radiation detector, and a seismometer. Its primary mission objective was to impact the moon's surface and transmit data back to Earth during its descent. Unfortunately, the mission was plagued with problems from the outset. The spacecraft's solar panels failed to deploy properly, which limited the amount of power available to the onboard instruments. As a result, the seismometer was unable to operate, and the radiation detector malfunctioned shortly after launch. Despite these setbacks, Ranger 5 continued on its trajectory toward the moon. However, due to a malfunction in the guidance system, the spacecraft missed its target and passed within 725 miles of the moon's surface before drifting off into space. Although the mission was considered a failure in terms of achieving its primary objective, Ranger 5 did provide some valuable data on the interplanetary environment between Earth and the Moon. In particular, it detected high levels of micrometeoroid activity, which was important information for future manned missions to the Moon. Overall, Ranger 5 was a significant step in the development of space exploration technology, and its mission helped pave the way for future successes in lunar exploration. The spacecraft was designed and built by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California. It weighed about 340 kilograms, 750 pounds, and was approximately 3.6 meters, 12 feet tall. Its scientific instruments were housed in a compartment at the top of the spacecraft, which was protected by a balsa wood impact limiter. Ranger 5's launch was the sixth in the Ranger program, which ran from 1961 to 1965 and involved a total of nine missions. The goal of the program was to develop and test the technology needed for a soft landing of a spacecraft on the moon's surface. The program was also intended to gather data and images of the moon to aid in the selection of landing sites for future manned missions. Ranger 5 was launched into an elliptical orbit around Earth, which was intended to take it to the moon. However, a malfunction in the spacecraft's guidance system caused it to miss its target and pass by the moon at a distance of about 725 miles 1, kilometers. The spacecraft continued on its trajectory and eventually entered into a solar orbit. Despite its technical difficulties, Ranger 5 was a valuable mission for NASA. The spacecraft's data helped scientists better understand the interplanetary environment between Earth and the Moon. In particular, its radiation detector provided important information about the radiation levels that would be encountered by astronauts on future manned missions. The Ranger program ultimately achieved its goal of a soft landing on the Moon with the Ranger 7 mission in 1964. The program's success paved the way for the Apollo program, which resulted in the first manned landing on the Moon in 1969. The spacecraft was equipped with a television camera system designed to take images of the Moon during its descent. The camera system consisted of six cameras that were mounted in two separate compartments. Each camera had a different lens and angle, allowing for a panoramic view of the Moon's surface. However, due to the solar panel deployment failure, the camera system was not able to function properly. Ranger 5 seismometer was designed to measure seismic activity on the Moon's surface. However, the instrument was not able to operate because it required more power than was available due to the solar panel malfunction. Ranger 5's radiation detector was intended to measure the intensity of radiation in space and the environment surrounding the Moon. Unfortunately, the detector failed shortly after launch due to a problem with its power supply. The spacecraft was also equipped with a telemetry system, which transmitted data back to Earth using radio signals. However, the system experienced intermittent failures, and the spacecraft was only able to transmit data for a brief period during its descent toward the Moon. Despite the mission's technical difficulties, Ranger 5 was considered an important step forward in the exploration of the Moon. The spacecraft provided valuable information about the interplanetary environment and demonstrated the feasibility of a spacecraft making a controlled descent to the Moon's surface. In addition to its scientific contributions, the Ranger program also played a significant role in the development of NASA's space technology. The program helped to refine techniques for space navigation and communication, and it paved the way for future exploration of the Moon and beyond. Ranger 5 was the first spacecraft to use solar panels as its primary power source. The solar panels were intended to deploy automatically once the spacecraft was in orbit around the Earth, but due to a malfunction, they only partially deployed, reducing the amount of power available to the spacecraft's instruments.
the spacecraft was launched during a period of heightened Cold War tensions between the United States and the Soviet Union. At the time, the Soviet Union was leading the space race, having already achieved a number of notable space firsts, including the first satellite, Sputnik, the first manned spaceflight, Vostok 1, and the first woman in space, Valentina Tereshkova. The Ranger program was notable for its use of crash landing technology. The spacecraft were designed to impact the moon's surface at high speed, transmitting data and images back to Earth before being destroyed upon impact. This approach allowed for more efficient use of resources, as the spacecraft did not need to be designed for a soft landing or return to Earth. The Ranger program was not without its challenges. Of the nine Ranger missions, only three were successful in achieving their primary objectives. However, even the failed missions provided valuable data and insights into the challenges of lunar exploration. The Ranger program was followed by the Lunar Orbiter program, which involved a series of five missions designed to map the surface of the Moon in preparation for the Apollo program. The Lunar Orbiter missions were successful in providing high-resolution images of the Moon's surface, and their data was critical in selecting landing sites for the Apollo missions. Ranger 5 was launched on October 18, 1962, from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida, aboard an Atlas Agena B rocket. The launch was originally scheduled for August of that year, but it was postponed due to technical problems. The Ranger 5 spacecraft was part of a larger effort by NASA to explore the Moon and prepare for future manned missions. In addition to the Ranger program, NASA also conducted the Surveyor program, which involved a series of soft landings on the Moon and the Apollo program, which resulted in the first manned landing on the Moon in 1969. The Ranger 5 mission was not without its controversies. Some critics of the program argued that the crash landing approach was wasteful and that the spacecraft should have been designed for a soft landing or a return to Earth. Others questioned the scientific value of the program, arguing that it was primarily a political initiative aimed at demonstrating American technological superiority. Despite these criticisms, the Ranger program was widely seen as a success. The program demonstrated the feasibility of spacecraft landing on the Moon and provided valuable data and insights into the challenges of lunar exploration. The program also helped to pave the way for future space exploration and played a significant role in establishing the United States as a leader in space technology. Today, the legacy of the Ranger program lives on in the many missions that have followed it, including the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which is currently in orbit around the Moon and has provided detailed images of the lunar surface, and the Artemis program, which aims to return humans to the Moon by 2024. The Ranger 5 spacecraft was designed and built by the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Pasadena, California. JPL is a federally funded research and development center that is managed by the California Institute of Technology, Caltech, on behalf of NASA. The Ranger 5 spacecraft was approximately 3.6 meters, 12 feet tall and 1.5 meters, 5 feet, in diameter. It weighed about 342 kilograms, 754 pounds, at launch. The spacecraft was designed to travel directly to the Moon, without entering into orbit around the Earth or the Moon. It was equipped with a series of thrusters that allowed it to make course corrections during its journey. The Ranger 5 mission was notable for its technical challenges. In addition to the solar panel deployment failure, the spacecraft's telemetry system experienced intermittent failures, and its seismometer and radiation detector were unable to function properly. The Ranger 5 mission was the first to capture images of the far side of the Moon. However, due to the malfunctioning solar panels, the television camera system was unable to function properly during the mission, and no images were transmitted back to Earth. After a journey of approximately 64 hours, the Ranger 5 spacecraft impacted the Moon's surface on November 1, 1962. The impact occurred in the Sea of Clouds, a region on the Moon's near side. The Ranger 5 mission marked an important milestone in the history of space exploration. It demonstrated the feasibility of spacecraft landing on the Moon and provided valuable data and insights into the challenges of lunar exploration. The mission also helped to pave the way for future space exploration, including the Apollo program and the ongoing efforts to explore the Moon and beyond.